In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this realistic looking flame inside of the out of a dimension. This model is actually made inside of the Rhino 3D and then imported to the out of a dimension. But basically, you can do this flame part uh, by using these starter assets over here, or you can model it in. Uh, Photoshop or other 3D, uh, 3D modeling software. So the flame part. So after you have imported your flame that you have made somewhere or whenever, you can double it and then you can change it a little bit so that it doesn't look exactly the same as the other flame to get it uh, this uh, natural or natural or organic look to your flame and after that place your um, flames top of each other to form this organic kind of looking flame shape i started to build the uh, look of the flame by using a uh, glowing material from the starter assets. Okay, now you cannot see. So let me change the background color so that we can see the actual flame and what's happening here. Okay, you have now flame number one and then flame number two two here but it doesn't look right yet so what i did that i i took the image of the flame and then i edited it inside of the photoshop let me show you so here's the flame that i have been edited inside the photoshop and um, yeah just f just a flat 2d image and then i say have saved it into the desktop i'm just going to drag and drop the flame image into the scene so here it is oh now it's actually t call so um, I'm going to do that later, but in, in this scene, I actually want to put it as a material. So I select the option and material. And instead of the color, I say select image, and then I'm drag and dropping to the same image into the scene. You can play with the settings over here, but yeah, you, you get the point. Okay, and now we can start to play with the settings over here. And what we really want to do is is play with the brightness of the flame because it's now maybe too bright and you cannot even act, uh, you cannot see the flame. So so play play with the brightness so uh, and find the best settings for you and your scene. And you can see what I'm doing here. So, yeah. And then the other flame, I am actually going to put the, okay, I, I put the, the same material in it. But um, then I'm going to put some transparency into the flame uh, to make it look more realistic. If you look at the flame images, you can see that they are, they are usually not sharp in the, the edges, and they, then you can kind of see the how the burning gas is going, and there's usually this softer outer glow in there. As we see, the flame is still too bright, so now we need to 
find the right right amount of um, glow so we can start to play with these settings and bring the glow down over here and, uh, and then we can put it a little bit more and here to the other flame we want to also add little bit transparency but um, but not maybe that much because you you want the other flame to be kind of the main flame yeah and as you can see it's still too bright so we still need to put the brightness down but before i'm started to play with the brightness again i i'm dragging the same flame image into the scene again and just to modify the look of the flame and as you can see it's, it started to look much better the image that we put there kind of creates the illusion of the heart of the flame if you know what i mean uh, and it's started to look much much uh, more natural only thing that we need to adjust now is the brightness and the transparency of the flame and then i guess we are quite near to finish okay now we jump to the final image uh, here it is and as you can see we brought the brightness quite a lot down and here you can see the trans transparent flame that we created earlier and here is the kind of the final look of the flame that we are now kind of ready to render. Okay, here we're just going to render the final image out. So this was it. So basically, if you like this video, please put the thumbs up and subscribe to this new channel and see you on the next one.